In this lesson, we'll talk about how to divide a polynomial by a monomial. So let's start off looking at an example. We have 10x to the 8th plus 15x to the 6th, all divided by 5x to the 5th. Now the key to these is to split this big fraction into separate smaller fractions. We'll get one fraction for each term and then we just simplify each fraction. So you know that if we have two fractions, or two terms rather, divided by 5x to the fifth, that's the same as having each term divided by 5x to the fifth. So our problem becomes 10x to the eighth over 5x to the fifth plus 15x to the sixth over 5x to the fifth. And now each of these fractions can be reduced. We know that 10 divided by 5 makes 2. x to the 8th over x to the 5th makes x to the 3rd. And for the second term, 5 to, uh, 15 divided by 5 makes 3. And x to the 6th divided by x to the 5th makes x. And so this is our simplified result. Now, if you get a problem with a division symbol, you can just replace that with fraction notation and do it like we did the last example. So we'll look at negative uh, 12x to the 8th plus 4x to the 6th minus 8x to the 3rd, all in parentheses, divided by 4x squared. In fraction form, that looks like our three terms in the top, fraction bar, all over 4x to the 2nd. And of course, just like the last example, this can now be split into three terms. So we'll have negative 12x to the 8th over 4x squared plus 4x to the 6th over 4x squared minus 8x to the 3rd over 4x squared. So each, again, each term gets its own copy of the denominator, and then we simplify. Negative 12 over 4 makes negative 3 and x to the eighth over x squared makes x to the sixth. For the second term, four divided by four makes one, and x to the sixth over x to the second makes x to the fourth. Now notice I did not write the one because whenever our coefficient is one, we don't have to write it. So it's kind of hidden there. And then for the last term, eight divided by four makes two, and x to the third divided by x to the second makes x, so I have negative 2x. And since none of these terms can be combined, we're finished. So now let's simplify these two problems, and I hope that you'll pause the video and try them on your own first. Notice that this one has a negative 2x to the fourth in the denominator, so be careful about your signs, but give them a try and see how it goes. Okay, let's go through these together. So the first thing to do is to split each term into its own fraction. And notice that they all have negative 2x to the fourth as their denominator. And we also know that we should not leave negatives in the denominator. So as we go along, we'll simplify our signs. So 18 divided by negative 2 is negative 9 and x to the seventh divided by x to the fourth is x to the third. Then negative nine divided by negative two makes positive nine over two. Nine over two cannot be reduced, so I'll just leave it like that. And then x to the sixth over x to the fourth is x to the second. It's okay if this can't be changed to a whole number. Our only job is to make it a, a, as simple as possible and 9 over 2 is as simple as that number can get. So 20 divided by negative 2 makes negative 10, and x to the 5th over x to the 4th makes x. So let's write minus 10x. And here, negative 10 over negative 2 is positive 5, and x to the 4th divided by x to the 4th is x to the 0. But anything to the 0 power is 1. So I have plus 10 times 1. We'll just write or sorry, not, not 10, but 5. But plus 5 times 1, we'll just write plus 5. So, yeah, negative 2 divided, or negative 10 divided by negative 2 is positive 5. Okay, now on part B, 
Let's separate this into three terms. And then let's simplify each term. 20 divided by 6 is not going to make a whole number, but t uh, 2 will go into each of these numbers. So that's going to leave us 10 over 3, and x to the 5th divided by x to the 2nd is x to the 3rd. So we'll have 10x to the 3rd over 3. On the middle term, 7 divided by 6 cannot be simplified, but x to the 4th over x to the 2nd leaves x to the 2nd in the top. So we'll have 7x to the 2nd over 6. And on the last term, 12 divided by 6 is 2, and x to the 2nd divided by x to the 2nd is x to the 0, and that's 1. So we'll have 2 times 1, which is 2.